Hey what's up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 tutorial. Today we are going to be covering Server List Plus. What this plugin does is it allows you to have a custom MOTD, custom player slots, and a custom player slot hover message. It's extremely unique and extremely fun. Here are two examples of it. Of course I have not changed the player slots on my server uh, for the simple fact that it will make your server appear with this. Now I am still able to connect to the server obviously as you can see here. However, it will always display like that if you edit the player slot message. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's the plugins page right here. There will be a link in the description below and as well I will leave a link to the wiki. The wiki explains a lot of how to set up this plugin. So what you're going to want to do is once it's installed onto your server, in this case I installed it to a bungee cord server. This plugin supports bungee cord, spagat, and bucket. You will want to go in your plugins folder and install it. Once installed, a folder will regenerate. You will want to edit the server list plus dot yml. This is the file containing all of the stuff that you will need to edit such as the MOTD, player hover message, and more. You can also edit your server's icon which is this right here if you so choose. I generally don't touch that. So anyway, this file here is what you would edit. Now if you want to add special symbols to it, which you can, the MOTD will support special symbols as you can see here. Um, you will want to download a program called Notepad++ and you will want to download and edit the file. So I've already edited it. So uh, as you can see here, here are the MOTDs that will display. As you can see right here, they're already displayed. And as well, the player hover message, uh, which is extremely fun and unique to play with. Uh, you can completely customize this anytime a player hover, hovers over this. It will display whatever you have typed. So in this case, I included the server. Um, as you can see here, here are placeholders for how many players are online on the faction server and again very unique now I'm going to show you quickly how to edit the player slots this is actually something that isn't added by default you have to add it you'll want to go to this player section hit enter and then backspace twice and you're going to want to remove this second player thing and as you will see here it should display just like this let me get it on the other one as well there's a personalized and a default one. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it works. I believe it uses the personalized one. However, just in case, uh, I always edit them both. So we're going to hit save. We're going to go into the server list and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to go and drag and drop the edited file into here. Now, when you first install this plugin on your server, you might notice it might not work. Uh, that is due to you actually having to enable the plugin. Um, it's a simple command, SLP enable. If you ever wanted to disable it, uh, say you need to disable it to add it to a server list, SLP disable. Now as you can see here, the MOTD and everything else is gone. But in our case we want to enable it. So let's do SLP enable. And then we're going to want to type SLP reload. This will reload the plugin reading the new config. And as you can see here now, the player slot is changed. As you can see, it does display the client out of date, which sucks. Um, however, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, you may want to explain it to your players, however. So as you can see here, I actually added something really fun. I thought it would be cool anyway, to my server's MLTD. Uh, IP in description below www.therealmsnetwork.com You can add special placeholders. Uh, this will actually read the name of the player uh, Whoever you are whatever your username is if you were to type my IP and look at the MOTD It would display your username. I thought that would be a new uh, unique spin-off You know to for new players who just see that for the first time So guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Um, I understand it wasn't too much of an explanation uh, however the plugin is extremely simple the main thing you have to get past is simply enabling the plugin 
Um, so if I wanted to simply change this, this is the MOTD to Hi YouTube, um, and then save it and upload it to my serverless plus folder, it would say Hi YouTube and then all of the tags below it. Uh, I generally edit it for both, as I've said before. Uh, so guys, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions about the plugin that I may have skimmed out on in this tutorial, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, have a wonderful day.